What up friends? It's your girl T. Many, many years ago, actually it wasn't years ago, but it was quite some time ago, I mentioned to you guys, it was actually in my hot head first impressions video. Anyway, in that video I mentioned that I picked up a couple of deep conditioners from the Shea Moisture Professional line to try out. I picked them up BOGO from Ulta or something like that, and I was just curious to know if you guys would actually want to hear what I thought of them. It was pretty much unanimous that you guys did want to hear what I thought of them, so I've only had the chance to try one of them. They were both sort of like little deep conditioner or hobby kits that came in containers like this. This is the rehydrating cocktail mix. They come with the conditioner and then three little oil blends inside. The one I actually got a chance to try on my most recent wash day was the Vibrant Color Recovery Mask, so I just wanted to tell you guys what I thought. I'll cut right to the chase and tell you guys that I fucking loved it. Some of you guys already know that I kind of roll my eyes at Shea Moisture's seemingly bi-weekly new product line launches. But more often than not, Shea Moisture stuff is pretty good, and this is no exception. This is actually a really great conditioner. This jar is 12 ounces, which is the standard size for pretty much all of Shea Moisture's hair masks. And then the three little oil blends that come with it are one ounce a piece. In the instructions on the can it came in, it says just to mix a few drops of the conditioner of your choice with the deep conditioner. Because I have a crippling fear of commitment, I actually decided to use all three in my blend and I used half a teaspoon each. Honestly, I normally wouldn't measure how much oil I add to my conditioners, but I felt like I should for this video. And I used six ounces of the conditioner itself, to which I also added two ounces of my hydrolyzed wheat protein from Green Beauty because as far as I can tell, this conditioner does not contain any protein on its own. I was looking through the ingredients and I saw that it had hydrolyzed baobab seed extract. I, I think they called it by the Latin name, so I wasn't sure quite what it was, but I looked it up and it was hydrolyzed baobab seed extract. I do like to use protein pretty much every wash day. I wash my hair infrequently enough now that it does make sense for me to use some protein every time I deep condition. And plus the ingredient was fairly low on the list. It was certainly in the second half of a rather lengthy list of ingredients. So I wanted to make sure that my hair was getting some proper protein in there and I used my beloved Green Beauty Protein. The three oils in here are a light smoothing oil, which is for fine colored treated hair. There's a nourishing oil for normal color treated hair. And then there's intensive conditioning oil for dry color treated hair. So I mixed up the conditioner, the protein and the oils, put them on my hair after it was freshly washed and let it sit. I did use my hot head deep conditioning cap for about half an hour of that two hours, but I also had to run some errands in there. So I ended up throwing on a turban and running out to run those errands. Applying the conditioner, I noticed that right away it seemed to spread through my hair really, really easily. And as they always say, melted into my strands. It really did feel like immediately I was noticing a positive effect on my hair where my strands felt softened at once. And that feeling was still in my hair after rinsing, which was really nice because I have had the experience where a conditioner will feel really great going on my hair. And then after I rinse it out, it doesn't really feel like it did anything for my hair. The only thing I do not like about it is the fragrance. It's got a very heavy floral scent and it's kind of almost dated. I don't know if a scent can be dated, but this definitely almost felt like old lady perfume. The other downside is that I ended up using half the container because again, I used six ounces of it. What I did was I just put my mixing bowl on my food scale and just kind of eyeballed out enough conditioner until it looked like enough and that wound up being six ounces. Unfortunately, because this container is 12 ounces, that's half of it, which means I only get two uses per container, which can get kind of costly. However, I am kind of used to that. I don't think I have a ton of hair, but I've got a fair amount and I'm heavy handed because I really like to make sure that every strand is getting coated. The good news is after buying the little kits of these things that come with the oils, I noticed that Sally's carries these conditioners on their own. I believe they're in a slightly larger size. It might be 16 ounces instead of the 12 and it costs less than the kit to get it from Sally's. Plus Sally's has sales all the time. So this is definitely a repurchase for me. I just think that next time I'd be getting it from Sally's with the conditioner solo and I would just add my own oils to it. The little oils that came in the kit are a nice to have but not a need to have because I think anyone who's got a nice little hair arsenal at home probably has oils she likes anyway so these aren't necessarily crucial to your success. I really think that this is just a solid conditioner as it is which is true about many of Shea Moisture's conditioners but I like this one quite a bit. I would say it's up there with one of my favorites which is the Manuka Honey Mephora Oil one. Um, I talked about it in my favorite hair products video. I'll leave that there in case you haven't seen it. And it's really nice to know that it plays well with others because I did mix in my Green Beauty Protein 
and it didn't have any adverse effects. I was able to get the protein in my hair while still getting all the benefits of moisture from the conditioner and the, and the oils. So I'm really looking forward to trying this one pretty soon. Um, I'm not sure when that's gonna be since it took me so long to get around to trying this one. And I would absolutely recommend it if you were in the market to try something new. That's all I got today, so I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. That's, that's a nappy-headed hose there, I'm gonna take that down. <laughs>